I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Good morning, travel buddies. I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. And today is a big road trip. This could be a two-parter. Could be. Could be. So, where are we going? We're going to do a big loop um, going up north towards Payson, then cutting off to the right and go down through Lake Roosevelt and down through, uh, what is it? Kind of Apache, isn't it? Apache Junction. Anyway, it's a big loop. It, big it's, loop. It's going to be a full day trip. Yep, we would probably get home in the dark. Anyway, so we are inviting you to join us on our road trip. Yep. And it's a little breezy today, so we might have wind noise. Um, also very hazy. Hazy. So yeah. the visibility is a little low. Yep. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Please take the time to subscribe and like our videos and share our videos. And off we go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Today's road trip, we're starting from Fountain Hills, right here. And we're going to follow the 87 all the way up to Highway 188, which is up by Payson, Arizona. And we're going to follow this down. And we're going to go along the Roosevelt uh, um, Reservoir. you also get a chance to see the Roosevelt Dam. And along this whole line right here, you'll see uh, that there's a whole lot of RV boondocking and RV campsites uh, throughout all, all along the lake. So it was a very, very good place for RVers. After we passed the lake, we worked our way to Globe, not quite to Globe, but just before it. Got on Highway 60 back towards Arizona followed that along till we got to highway or freeway highway 202 followed that along till we got to the Gilbert uh, cutoff which is just down a ways here across and came back around so that summarizes our road trip today and for our first stop we got to get fuel because this is going to be a long road trip well, uh, we're getting gas for about $1.99 for diesel. And somebody stole my mic. <laughs> anyway, off we go. So we we're doing a McDonald's run real quick before we get going. Um, big thing I want to remind you today is we'll probably be dealing with wind noise a little bit. We do have a boom mic for wind, but it's going to be breezy today. So bear with us. Should be a pretty drive. Get all fueled up get our tummies filled up, we're set to go. For a good place to boondock, I think I just found you one. Look at this. I have to take a drive down there and see if we can get a little closer. 
looks like a nice place to boondock. docking lake, isn't it? Yeah. It could be. I've noticed all along this reservoir there's been turnouts and places to boondock. And I guess it gets really busy in the winter time, but when you're in the spring where it's still not that bad, there's lots of places here to just boondock. And uh, if you got solar, this place has got uh, plenty of sun. So uh, what a pleasant surprise. So we were told that earlier this year the lake was at 33 percent full of yeah. its capacity and that it's now at 55 percent and it all depends on how much snow they get during the winter months on how full this uh, lake will get. Yeah so this is Lake Roosevelt on Highway 188. So, it's really pretty here guys, and all along the lake there's parks and campgrounds and boondocking spots all over. This is just a little park. Picnic area. Picnic area, and uh, pretty nice. Just to explain what you are seeing is, uh, or going to see, is we pulled off a side road to Tonto National, National Monument, Monument and it's called Cliff Dro Dwelling. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you have to go up about a mile and you can hike up to the Cliff Dwellings. We took some long range shots with the uh, G40, it looks like we got some good shots of it. Uh, you can't take a pet with you, so uh, we just stayed down below, but it was really beautiful. Lots of pretty cactuses in this area, lots of flowers. It was just a really nice uh, park. So not only does Lake Roosevelt have a beautiful place for your RVs and boondocking, there's so much to see here. There's, uh, there's stuff everywhere. 
you could uh, spend a good month here and never see everything. So, anyway, we're going to head down. We're heading east of Lake Roosevelt and probably be starting to get away from the water. So, we'll see what it, what it brings us. So, we'll be heading toward Globe. Right? Alrighty. Well, talk to you later. Hope you like that. Bye. Alright, so you just saw us turn on to Highway 60 and was just the outside of uh, Globe and now we're heading west towards Phoenix and we went through a little town called Miami. Trust me, it didn't look like the one that's in Florida. It's a mining town. I mean, it's got the mountains in there are just ripped up. So I guess they get copper and gold, it sounds like, uh, in those cities. So pretty uh, rugged cities and very uh, rugged roads and, and uh, mountains. So now we're in a little town called Superior and uh, just took a little stop here and now we're heading towards Phoenix and we'll see what we see. So let's get going. Well, I hope you enjoyed our adventure. That was a 200 mile road trip. We had to scrunch it down to a sh short video. Mm -hmm. So, what we learned is Lake Roosevelt, and I think it's actually called Lake Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt Lake. Awesome place for RVs. Uh, lots of boondocking. They say it gets pretty crowded in the winter. Uh, right now, you could get in there easy, and it's not too hot yet. Um, then we found out up by the globe area, lots of mining. Oh my gosh, they're, they're devouring mountains over there. So, but quite interesting and very rocky. It was real pretty. So, if you ever get the opportunity to do that loop that we did, um, lots of things to do. We just did a fraction of the things you could actually do. And we're also limited if you have a pet with you. So, some of these things, if you want to go visit them, especially in the national park, it's better not to have your pet with you. So, anything else you want to add? No, had a great time. Yeah. So, uh, we apologize. We have a little fan over here. 
that runs all day long so if we do videos in front of the RV we're gonna have a humming so we apologize but thanks for watching our video please don't forget to subscribe leave your comments below we appreciate it if you have questions for us leave a uh, just let it write something down in the comments we'll try to do a video about it so we love hearing from you so I'm Rob I'm Shelly and have a great day and thanks for watching bye Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our videos to see our future shows. Also next to me is a few of our more popular shows. Thanks for watching.